Hi guys, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com and in this walkthrough I'm going to be showing you how to cut out animals uh, which used to be quite a difficult task but with the refine edge function uh, from CS5 onwards it's got really good so there's actually a, a better method than using just layer masks alone and also there's going to be a bonus tip on how to uh, retain these whiskers and hairs from this tiger and could be pretty much transferred to any animal that you're working with so this is compositing where we're going to be cutting this out and we can use this element in photo manipulation work. So to start off with the example piece, I have a new Photoshop document, um, the photo layer and a background. What I'm going to do now is just add a simple gradient to this background layer. Um, so I'm just going to duplicate that. Right click and we want blending options. And we could do the uh, gradient overlay direct through here. So this isn't essential, but it's a nicer background for working on. So I'm going to do this very fast. I'm going to edit this gradient. Just change it up a little bit. Okay very fast um, what we have there is a is a better background than plain white or the checkerboard transparent this step isn't essential but I like to do that so when we're compositing this tiger we can see uh, more accurately what it looked like with a with a background so the first step we need to do is create a rough selection now this doesn't have to be perfect the tool used here that I use is lasso and you hit L and that will activate the lasso tool and very simply just freehand draw around depends how dexterous you are some people may want to use a, a magnetic lasso but I hate those tools so I'm just gonna go freehand so I'm gonna create one selection there and you can see it's uh, gone around now to add to this selection I hold down shift and then click and that will allow me to add to that selection and I'll continue moving around doing it in chunks. So I'm doing a little bit, going around. Don't worry about these hairs or whiskers, just leave them for now. And then that bit. To pan the screen, I'll hold down the spacebar and with the mouse, click and drag. And it's a very fast way for moving around. And using shift again, I'm going to add more. I'm not going to worry about this grass. Could deal with that later using the uh, clone tool so there we go just add in a bit more this doesn't have to be precise so don't worry about grabbing every single bit of fur or hair this is just a rough selection if, the more accurate this selection is the better it will be though so if you want to take time with that that's no problem if you do go too far um, you can hold down the alt key and take away from the selection that works also so we have a rough selection here of this tiger now this is where all the action happens if you click on refine edge and you have the dialogue come up I like to click on the view and go on layers and then we can see we've got our gradient background there and we have a more accurate view of what we're working with now for this tiger um, I've done this before so I know roughly which radius is good I would say to about there it's not very scientific give that a second to load okay and we can already see um, the the finer hairs being picked out and that's not looking too bad that's that's looking okay so far right there's an additional step with this refine age function and uh, what we want to do is for this one is decontaminate colors so that will take a second to load again and what we want to do is just have a look, see if we can push that to the right just a little bit. Back a bit. Okay, for now, I think uh, that will do it. So I'll hit OK on that. And what this will do, if you decontaminate colors, it the only option you have is that it will spit it out as a new layer with a layer mask. So um, what we have here is a duplicate and that leaves our original layer intact, which is what we want. So we'll just have a look around. That's fine. 
At this stage, um, Refine Edge does leave some artifacts from time to time. So what you want to do is zoom in, select the layer mask, and then hit B for brush. There's a crazy brush there loaded from a previous project. Okay, soft edge brush, hardness zero, about that diameter. Okay, take it up a bit. And then zoomed right in, uh, use the pan button, which is a space bar, and just clean up any um, degraded areas, any artifacts that would be left over from the refine edge tool. In this instance, there isn't loads, I don't think. I'm using command and minus to zoom out. And then again, using the space bar, panning. Okay, that's not looking too bad. That's a good start. So that's the um, the general compositing of the tiger. It's retained quite a few of the details. The next thing we want to do, I'm going to create a duplicate of the original, and to do that is Command and J, and then I'm going to make that layer visible once again. Okay, with this one, I want to uh, change the blend mode to screen because the whiskers are white or near white. I'm going to change that to screen. And then what I'm going to do is go to image, adjust levels, and I'm going to do this direct to the layer. And I'm going to push the black values right across. Maybe the whites a little bit that way. Okay, and go okay there. Now it's not going to be perfect, you are going to have degradation. Um, this may not work in all instances, there may be occasions where um, there's not enough contrast in the background. So, this is a, a bit of a, a, a trick way of doing it. Um, to do the cleanup on here, what we do is we click on add layer mask, so it adds a layer mask. We hit B for brush, we want the soft edge brush again. And to change the brush size, um, use the square bracket keys on your keyboard to do it nice and fast. And it's the same method as before, going around, cleaning it up. So I'm just going to work through that quickly. Doesn't take long. There's not a lot there to do. Okay, so once you've done a, a bit of a tidy up there, um, the only area that I would like to have these whiskers applied is around the head. So I can select inverse and get rid of anything else. I've created a selection with the lasso tool, which is L on the keyboard. Select inverse, um, shortcut for that. Shift, command and I. And then I'm going to go a fill with black and that's just alt and delete. So we have this. Now these colors are a little bit vibrant. So I'm going to click on the layer there and just pull the hue and saturation down just a notch. So it's... Um, less offensive with those blue tones doesn't need a lot just to there that's fine and there we go we have uh, a tiger that's being composited with uh, the whiskers and hair intact so not a great deal to do there um it's quite a good technique what you would do what i'd advise you to do is select the layers okay i held down command and then click to the other layer and then click on this create a new group so it's all in one group so let's just um just command and g really that's a bit that's a better way of doing it so i selected those layers hit command and g and it nested them within a group now with this group you can hit v and you can click and drag that into your actual work document where you're creating your art piece so using this process um cutting out this tiger uh, i use that for this other piece here as you can see, there's been some processing done and it's a, a lot more refined and it's it's actually um, a, a bit of artwork now. So that's the technique, guys. I'm sure this could be adapted to loads of different things, uh, primarily animals and whiskers and fur and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed that. Plenty more at our site, guys. 
I look forward to seeing you at the next tutorial. See you there.